Right now at four, an agreement is reached between city officials and people who live in the Hill District over the development of the neighborhood. Well, people who live in the Hill District have been waiting on a community development package for nearly 50 years. They were promised one when the Civic Arena was built, but it never happened. Well, today they signed a deal, and Keith Jones has more. It was a battle getting to this point, but with the point of a pen, more than two dozen members of the One Hill Coalition, city and county government and entities, and the Penguins, the first ever Community Benefits Agreement, or CBA, was made official. More than 100 community members gathered at Freedom Corner for the ceremonial signing. $8.3 million in development headed this way. It includes a grocery store a multi-purpose recreation center, a job center, and the promise for Hill District residents to get first dibs at hundreds of family-sustaining jobs. Chairman of the One Hill Coalition, Carl Redwood, admits the community learned from its mistakes when the first arena was built, a time when there was a lot of community infighting. You and I sometimes fell out with each other about someone else's plan, and it ended up we didn't talk to each other in the community for years because we fell out about somebody else's plan. We need to move from being reactive to being proactive. Promises were broken back then, but the Penguins promise now to be a productive part of the community. Uh, I personally attended eight community meetings uh, in and around the Hill to discuss what we can do together to help benefit this neighborhood. Uh, and I think we, we came up with a good plan. And, and I just want to reiterate, this is a start. This isn't an ending. For more than a year, there were arguments and stalemates. The new home of the Penguins was in jeopardy when developer Don Barden tried to renege on the development dollars for the Hill. Mayor Luke Ravenstahl credits the Hill community for its perseverance. There was clearly some divide at the beginning of this process in the Hill District community. Uh, they were able to unite, and to their credit, we're here today as a result of their ability to unite uh, and speak with one voice and talk about what's important to them. Sure, there will be people that will say this should have been in there in addition, uh, and we understand that. One item in this master plan, which was reinforced today, not just by the mayor, but also the One Hill Coalition, is that residents here in the Hill District will get preferential treatment when it comes to applications of those new jobs created by the development. That includes the Penns Arena, the Y YMCA, which plans to set up shop here. Also, that new grocery store. And for decades, the Hill District residents have really fought to get a grocery store to come here. Well, now there's not one, but two that are trying to bid against each other to come here to the Hill District to set up shop. Perhaps a good sign of things to come here in the Hill District. From Freedom Corner, Keith Jones, KDK TV News.